How we doing guys? Welcome back to 6 Degree Reviews. Continuing on with Green Cheek. Checking out another one of their IPAs. This one is Over Notifications. They're calling this an American India Pale Ale. Um, so I think it's a little different than their California IPA we just reviewed. Um, clocking in 6.8% and doesn't say it on the can, but I believe this is hopped with Simcoe and Amarillo. Two of my favorite hops. Um, I'm an old school, um, you know, Pacific Northwest hop guy, so I am very excited about this beer. Uh, it says, Do Not Disturb, canned on July 11th. So we are three, three and a half weeks old, time recording. Um, awesome, awesome label art. Really cool, so I'm excited to check this out. It's not too often we review two or three beers same day, but I want to check some green cheek beers out back to back, see how they differ. Because I think this is a little different malt bill than the California IPA. Um, I think the California IPA is a little lighter, even though it's a higher ABV. I think that was 7.2. This is 6.8, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just want to compare them, see how the hops differ and, uh, yeah, dude, I'm really excited because Happily Deceased was honestly probably one of my favorite beers I've had of the year, if I'm being honest with you, um, which I feel like that didn't come through in the review, but I mean, it's like the more that I sipped on it, I was like, this beer is amazing. So if anybody's had another West Coast IPA is dead uh, beers, if you haven't, Check those beers out because that beer was absolutely phenomenal. Um, just after looking at it, yeah, I think this beer's a little darker. Um, I don't know exactly what malts are using, but it's not as light looking. Um, like literally the other um, happily deceased beer that we just reviewed, um, it, it looked like lager. This has a little more of that West Coast IPA, at least what I associate West Coast IPA with. Uh, just got that kind of look. But a finger worth of pretty bone white head. Bone white colored head. Um, yeah, it's just a little darker. But it still looks awesome. So let's dive in. I am very excited. A little Simcoe and Amarillo. Let's see how Green Cheek does it. This one, by the way, was uh, brewed in orange. So just like Happily Deceased was. The Cold Pale Ale we reviewed um, was brewed in... Costa Mesa? I think so. Yeah. So let's dive in, get a nose on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a little more old school for sure. <sighs> yeah, it's, it, I don't know. Is there like a certain fruit that I associate that with? I don't know. It just smells a little old, more old school to me slightly maltier um you can tell there's a little more like body to it um it's yeah a little maltier grapefruit grapefruit pith um you know we reviewed double sunshine a couple weeks ago i think um and that beer is super grapefruit forward this beer really reminds me of that Ooh, they're Going back in, there's like this nice floral note too. I love that note. Dude, grapefruit, grapefruit notes in beer, that's like my all time favorite. I just love beers that taste like grapefruit. Which I think is funny because I don't eat a lot of grapefruit, but for some reason I just, I love grapefruit and beer. Yeah, you can definitely tell it's gonna be a little heavier than that last California IPA. Um, but I love the floral note and just like super grapefruit, citrus, um, a little bit of like piney note to it. Um, it's not as dank as the last beer, but it smells awesome. Yeah, it smells really good. So let's dive in. Joe, Jazz Arcade, thanks so much. Cheers.
really good. Yeah, definitely has a little more body to it, for sure. Which I think is so crazy. Like, I don't know how they do that, because, I mean, this beer's a lower ABV than the last beer review. It's still super drinkable. It's not as bitter, which I was expecting a little more bitterness, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know if it's because that beer was, wasn't that beer fresher? I think it was fresher. Uh, I don't know if that's why, I don't know if it's the hops, I don't know. Uh, I do remember though them saying they didn't add as much maltiness to it. It's like really let the hops show. Uh, maybe that has something to do with it. Um, this beer is really good, but I feel like I should have started with this beer. Because I, I, I feel like my palate is just wrecked after that last beer. Because there was a decent amount of bitterness on it. Um, yeah, it's not as drinkable as Happily Deceased was, but it is still super, super solid. And I think I like the nose more on this one, just because I love that grapefruit note. But I, I keep going back to that beer. But I mean, dude, seriously, that beer, Happily Deceased, one of the best IPAs I've had this year. Unbelievable. Um, and I mean, this beer is awesome too. It's just, I don't think it compares to that beer. Maybe it's the hops. I love Nelson hops. But I, I do, I love Simcoe, Amarillo. Centennial, all those old school sea hops. I love all of them. I might give this a minute, you know, like just sip on this some more, really see what I think. Um, I'm still, I'm blown away by all of these beers. This beer is so good. Dude, 15, 16 dollars for a four pack of this. When I see breweries selling four packs of hazy IPAs for $20, $24. I would take this all day over those beers. All day. I mean, this just tastes like, like what I think of when I think of IPA. It is so good. At this point, I feel like I'm just rambling, you know? Uh, but I mean, dude, these beers are freaking unbelievable. Some of the best IPAs I've ever had. <laughs> I've been like just I don't know just dying over these beers I haven't really even gotten to like what I've been tasting I feel like um, yeah it's definitely a little sweeter that floral note comes through there's definitely more body to this beer there's still a decent amount of bitterness um, which I think is like funny like I feel like a lot of people wouldn't like this beer because of that bitterness but this beer still isn't as bitter as that other beer that I had. Um, this is insanely good. I think you have to like old school IPAs to like this one. It's just more of that style. Um, if you like grapefruit, if you like citrus in your beers, if you like a little bitterness, um, a little more maltier note compared to that like juicy haze that people are brewing nowadays. Um, I think you would love this beer. So, over notification American IPA. I think it's really cool. I don't see a lot of breweries doing that where they're like brewing the same like kind of style but changing up the malt bill. I feel like I don't see that a lot. So, um, I think that's really cool. Green Cheek is doing that. Um, yeah, Green Cheek, Orange, Costa Mesa, Oceanside. Are they just brewing in uh, Orange and Costa Mesa? I don't know. I think the others are just tap rooms. Um, I mean, if, if anybody knows, please let me know. But, um, dude, I gotta get out. I gotta get out to Green Cheek because these beers are freaking amazing. Unbelievable. Uh, three beers in. Joe, dude, you've already, like, made me want to move out to California. Um, me and my wife have some friends out in L.A. I, I gotta get out there soon, so... 
Um, again, I appreciate you sending these over. They've been um, unbelievable. So um, that's all I got, guys. Um, I will say I'm on Instagram now, 62 Beer Reviews there. If you want to check me out on Untapped, I'm on there, JJSand62. Uh, I think they're both in my description. So go check those out if you're interested. Please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.